toward hope and recovery. Grief support helps individuals navigate complex emotions after losing a loved one. It offers comfort, understanding of grief stages, and coping strategies. A nurturing environment allows emotions to be expressed without judgment. Grief support mitigates feelings of isolation during the grieving process. There are two types of grief support, virtual and in-person. Virtual grief support connects individuals through online platforms like video calls. It offers convenience and access to resources that may not be locally available. In-person support takes place in community settings, fostering interactive participation. Face-to-face -face meetings enable immediate exchange of energy and empathy. Individuals may choose based on preferences for technology or personal interaction. Virtual environments appeal to those valuing convenience and time efficiency. In-person gatherings enhance solidarity through nonverbal cues like hugs. Understanding these dynamics helps individuals make informed decisions about their support. Both methods aim to aid healing through guided conversations and emotional sharing. Virtual grief support offers unparalleled accessibility from any location. This is especially beneficial for individuals in remote areas or places with limited in-person resources. Imagine someone grieving in a rural town. They can connect to vital support online. Flexibility is a significant advantage of virtual support, allowing participants to schedule as needed. Unlike rigid in-person meetings, online groups offer various times to suit participants' needs. Attending from home provides anonymity, and comfort to those feeling vulnerable in physical settings. Participants control what they reveal, creating a safer space for sharing emotions. They can join without worries about judgment, processing grief at their own pace. Think of virtual grief support as a flexible gym membership for emotional exercise. These benefits make virtual grief support a compelling option during challenging times. Experience solace and understanding without compromising convenience or comfort. In-person grief support groups offer essential opportunities for forming deeper emotional connections. The physical presence creates a palpable sense of solidarity that is hard to replicate online. Participants experience affirmation that they are not alone in their grief journey. These groups become tight-knit communities where members can safely share their emotions. Immediacy of feedback through body language enhances communication in person. Face-to-face -face meetings allow participants to read subtle shifts in demeanor. Participants gauge reactions through nonverbal cues like nods and smiles. Coming together fosters camaraderie among those facing similar challenges. Hearing shared stories provides solace and connection in the grief process. Gatherings become sanctuaries for active engagement and personal growth. Some prefer in-person sessions for their profound impact on relationships. While virtual options exist, nothing replaces direct human interaction. In-person grief support offers emotional connections and community understanding. However, geographic barriers can limit access to these groups. Traveling long distances to attend sessions may not be feasible for everyone. Scheduling conflicts complicate participation in support sessions. Full-time workers or single parents may struggle to attend regular meetings. Those who wish to share their feelings may feel pressured in a group setting. The fear of judgment can discourage open communication among participants. While some thrive in group settings, others may find such experiences overwhelming. Many may prefer private forms of expression and coping with grief. Understanding these limitations helps create more accessible grief support options. Choosing the right grief support is crucial for your healing process. Assess what feels more comfortable for you virtual or in-person. Virtual sessions offer ease and accessibility from home. In-person gatherings provide a tangible sense of community. Evaluate which environment encourages your openness to share. Social anxiety can influence your choice between anonymity and interaction. Virtual support can feel less intimidating with controls available. Direct human interaction can provide quicker emotional resonance. Reflect on past experiences with both support types. This reflection helps clarify your preferences for effective grieving. Self-awareness allows informed decision-making tailored to your journey. Choose the approach that fosters genuine healing and growth. Grief support comes in many forms, both virtual and in-person, each with unique benefits. Virtual support offers unparalleled access and flexibility for individuals to connect from anywhere. 
In-person support creates intimate connections through face-to-face -face interactions and shared experiences. Both methods have limitations, highlighting the importance of personal preferences. Ultimately, the choice depends on your comfort levels and specific needs during grief. It's crucial to seek help, no matter which method you choose. Reaching out is a significant step toward healing. Grief is a personal journey. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. The most important aspect is finding a supportive environment where you feel understood. Embrace this period for self-discovery and prioritize.